China's huge. So it's been almost three weeks since I've landed in East Asia and I've had some of the best dumplings, some of the best pan fried buns and noodles in my life and I'm very grateful but I guess there is a bit of kiwi in me because I thought all this time I was craving white people food so I hit up like Shake Shack and like all these different pizza joints but they just didn't do it for me. I know, I know why now. It's because I'm craving a fucking pie. That's exactly what I want. A meat filled pie. And I tracked these Kiwis down who are living in China. They do this thing called tuck shop pies and supply their pies all around China. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a pie in Shanghai. So many people are gonna fucking hate me for this, but I don't care. I need it. I need it. I need it. Now we are with Ryan, the pie maker of Shanghai, and I want to know what the fuck you're doing making pies in Shanghai. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty crazy, sort of stumbling into that sort of I suppose area in F&B in this in this big city. But we just were craving a pie after about eight months worth of hangovers. Oh, dude, so am I. It's only been two weeks. I'm craving, <laughs> I'm craving a pie. We couldn't find one in the city. Um, and so we decided to make our own. How many years ago was it? So six years ago, we were we came out here straight out of uni, Dunedin. Um, Dunners. And Dunners, yeah, so we were... You'd be half a human, yeah. Yeah, smashing pies and, and a lot of other things in, in Dunners. Then, yeah, like I say, eight months in with the hangovers and we wanted some pies. Uh, the Mid Autumn Festival is in October. We had no money, so we took all of our what we did have down to uh, the local supermarket called Carrefour. Uh -huh. uh, we bought steak, and mushrooms, uh, and flour, and New Zealand butter, and and the works to make a steak and mushroom pie. Gave it a crack, made a whole lot, took them down to the local cafe, uh, Sumerian, actually, in the city here. They were our first first stop on the sales tour, <laughs> but they, uh, they they loved them and and requested 25. So. We had an order straight away the first day, and the rest is history. Really, it just so you were just making pies in like your kitchen. Yes, exactly. And staying up late, like that kitchen over there. Well, we were actually in another apartment at the time, and the kitchen was about half the size of, of this one here. Uh, but we would cook them. We would use the the wok to make our our, our steak and mushroom the like wok. yeah like uh, ingredients the for filling, the, the filling. Yeah, yeah, just, and and then. Uh, Livy and I were hammering away making like base pastry and puff pastry. I don't know if you know much about puff pastry, but that that is that's a tricky yeah. tricky one to nail. Eh? And can we just also say that Liv has two two babies right now? So like that's yeah yeah. So you guys are like raising children. Yeah. She was popping up babies <laughs> while you were popping up pies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So he's like the the first. Well, when we were getting stuck in at the start, um, there were no babies, but once we had got it fully up off the ground and lifted, yeah. um, we were in 220 supermarkets, and and then Livy just, well, we found out Livy was pregnant, and then, and then... 220 supermarkets. 220 supermarkets. I don't even think there's 220 supermarkets in New Zealand. <laughs> Potentially not. <laughs> but yeah, Holy fuck! Yeah, nation, nationwide, so it's good. All around, all around China. All around China, yeah, yeah. We are scattered around this this beast. Holy represent. Yeah. So yeah, doing doing our bit for NZ Food out here. Yeah. We're using New Zealand uh, beef and dairy. So would you say the flavors are kind of like you kept them as close as you like as like the traditional New Zealand pie? Yeah. So we we went through a few flavors. We, we yeah. started off with three. The first three we started were chicken and leek. Uh -huh. Based off a chicken and leek gratin that we used to love cooking at home in New Zealand when we were with the family. Beef and cheese, mince and cheese. They don't resonate with mince here. They don't know what the hell mince is. So we had to go, we had to call it ground beef and cheese. Uh, yeah, the mince never, never took off. Could be my accent. Uh, no, that, I think they just don't trust white people. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be it. Yeah. Yeah. But that, I think the having the New Zealand. That, that gains a lot of a lot of trust. Oh yeah, it's such a good representation. In Korea, like if you have like a buffet, it's like real luxe. And it's like New Zealand butter and everything. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like it's, it's gold. Yeah. They're like, holy shit, that's yeah. like luxe. Yeah. yeah. So it's similar similar mindset out here. But yeah, so beef and cheese, ground beef and cheese, mince and cheese, uh, steak and mushroom, obviously mm. the one that we started with, and and chicken and leek were the first three. We introduced chicken cranberry brie, 
That's um, my fucking favourite. That's bro. that was like what gets talked about a lot from our friends is like what how that one's disappeared. But just for for here, it just did not work. Eh? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting. It's been an interesting challenge, sort of finding out what people like and and working out what what is going to work and what is not. And that's basically through trial and error. And, and the taste buds are just completely different. Once we'd finally stopped cooking our own kitchen and got out into the, the factory that we're now with. Uh, oh, you're in the factory now? So we're in the factory now. So the factory churns out the pies as we order them, obviously with Olivia's and I, or mine and Olivia's help with the recipes and everything. That's mad big dick energy. That's, it's great, man. It was like super, you know, Signing on that dotted line yeah. was, was nice, and then yeah. and then getting and then the next step basically to that was getting into the supermarkets. So pies are on the shelf. How do you make them move? They're going to get taken off the shelf very quickly if, if they don't move. So we had to go out and we travelled around China and we were in supermarkets, you know, four days a week, every week for the whole of winter when the t ideal time for pie eating was in our eyes. We would get into the supermarkets and we'd have a, a microwave and, and we'd have to put in hair nets and, and like these things to stop your spit yeah. going anywhere and like white gowns. We love a hygi hygienic company. Yeah, 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 yeah and this yeah. is a supermarket regulation and so we'd be there chopping up pies for, for people yeah. uh, to try. So that was how we, we sort of started getting the pies out to the Chinese, to the local consumers. They like it at the, first? The kids love it. The adults, uh, the older generation, are like pretty firm on their way. Yeah, they're fucking yeah, stubborn. Man. Yeah, they're yeah. in like meat pie, like that, that kind of combination didn't really resonate for them, but that's fine. That's not, not our target market, whatever. But the kids, man, the kids were smashing them. You should move to Korea. Because I, my, legit, my granddad, he takes like, when he comes to New Zealand, after he first ate his meat pie, he, every time he came back, he would go back to Korea with like 40 in a suitcase. Yeah, and every yeah, time yeah. I go to Korea, my fucking suitcase is like 23 kgs, and that's full of meat pies, and he's like, I'll buy you pies. clothes when you come here, just bring the meat pies, yeah. <laughs> no, people froth it. Yeah, yeah, and that's true, man. If I could have the whole of China travel to New Zealand and eat a meat pie, like, sure. That would, that would, just that would like, help me. Just yeah. lie at some um, black pepper steak. Pie. Black pepper, yeah. And yeah, then they'll pepper, be like, pepper. it's just more familiar yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's, that's a good call. Yeah. We'll take that on board. Well, I, I can't wait to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think, I, think there's a, I think there's a pie on the table. Oh fuck! Oh, I'm gonna try it. Get stuck in. You you just you just get in there, eh? or do you want me to get in there as well? Get in there, both of us. If I'm in there, I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, we do it real. Well, well, we, okay. We, we could we could do it either way, you know. No, we let's do it New Zealand style. Oh, it feels hot. Isn't that good? Well, yeah, but you know, burn your mouth. What I used to do is that um, burn you know, your mouth. Like just as pie, just make the tiniest hole and just suck out all the filling. And it's then... like a, you're eating like a true Chinese person eats oh, their right, dumplings. Right. Yeah, 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 like a Shaolong Bao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would make a tiny and just suck all the meat out. All right, well, let's. Oh, whoa. Mmm. That's gonna have to be a knife and fork job for me, I reckon. Mmm. It's a bit of beer in there. Obviously, New Zealand, good old New Zealand cheese. To be honest, I expect it to have much more like a Chinese type of flavor because mm. they must have like had mm. to like cater it towards Chinese people. Mm. But this is actually like one of the best pies I've actually ever had yeah, man, they, in they, fucking Shanghai. That's true. I'm having the best pie yeah. of my life in Shanghai. What the fuck? Welcome to Tuck Shop Pies. <laughs> yeah, legit. This is so good. Full experience. Well, how do you guys make that puff pastry? The amount of arguments and fights me and my wife have had whilst making okay, puff no pastry. More. Yeah, say no more, say no more. What? You, you did the first fold when it was too hot. Throw it away. Go back down to the supermarket and get more butter. Ah. Oh, that beef. You said you use New Zealand beef. Yeah, man, yeah. Holy shit. So this is a New Zealand, New, Mr. Apple, New Zealand apples, it's apple chutney. Okay. Uh, it's a tomato, tomato apple. I have a, um, my dad puts honey mustard with his pie. Is that oh, fucking good? It's all good. Is that good? Yeah. You know, I actually have a friend. Um, I have a friend who's like, you might think this is disgusting, but she, she gets like a gas station pie. Mm -hmm. Margie Cooney, what's up? Margie, watch this. Um, yeah, she gets a gas station pie and then she opens a lid and puts a Whitaker's peanut slab in it and makes it melt in the beef. Oh. And then she says it's like a beef satay. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? 
No? Okay, sorry. You need to go in and interview this person. <laughs> and you need, to, you need to put that, whatever that is, in your mouth and give it, yeah. But I kind of see it, eh? I was like, sweet and savory. I was like, maybe it's like- Maybe. Thing. Yeah, maybe. I maybe. Wouldn't, I wouldn't try on this pie. This pie's too good to waste. So the, the peanut slab melts. Yeah, or and then the, the, the nutting. Yeah, and the nuttiness gets into the um, pie, so it gets a bit of oh, that crunchy it's texture. It's a dense slab. Oh yeah, she says like you can, you have to share it with another person. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, it's 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 hefty. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm 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 digging it. Maltesers and popcorn. Yeah, sweet and savory. Sweet oh, no, and no. savory. Peanut slab and a and a beef pie. That That's chutney. Dog. Yeah, I was super pet pumped on how that one turned out. I used a I used a blueberry vinegar in that in that chutney. So you think blueberry vinegar is fine, but with a crispy peanut slab and a meat pie is not? Okay, yeah. I see you. This is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys eat this every day? I used to. I would. <laughs> I so would. I have eaten a lot of these pies. Cause usually, I go for steak and pie, cause like. The mints in a lot of New Zealand dairies make you feel like you're eating prison food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wouldn't feed half those pies to my dog. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, see, is that, that shit? I feel so shit after eating like. Yeah. Man, honestly, the, the, the quality of the meat, of like some of those like mass produced brands, uh, yeah, are just super questionable. Not, really? Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm not. Not talking shit or on, on these brands, but I just, do, I just don't know. This pie is different to like. Majority of pies I've had. I think it just comes down to like honestly using good ingredients and make it with love. Like we we spent a lot of time on this product. So I was like, we're in Shanghai. Why the fuck am I eating a pie? But <laughs> no regrets whatsoever. Like this is like one of the best pies I've ever had. Boom. I mean, this is the best pie I've ever had. It's, it's, oh my god. Made with love, right there. Yeah. Shanghai people need to. The old people need to grow out of their old ways. And they doesn't even realize how dope this actually is. Thank you for inviting me over to basically New Zealand in Shanghai. Yeah. On New Zealand soil in our yeah. apartment. I've been craving pies for so fucking long because it's been it's been too long, three weeks guys almost. And I've kicked that craving right out of the way. Well, yeah. Pleasure. Tuck shop pie, if you ever see them in like 220 supermarkets around China. Give them a whirl. Yeah. Give them a whirl. Mm. Thanks for coming. No worries. I'm so shook right now. It's in Shanghai, if you see what you like, you just go in, you get it. We're in this neighborhood called Jing'an and we walk past this noodle shop. To be honest, we don't even know the name of the restaurant. The people here don't even speak English, so it's kind of hard for us to get the name right now. Um, we don't even know the name of the dish. What I do know is that it's five New Zealand dollars and it's noodles, so, and they're hand pulled, like right in front of you, made to order. They look like beef. I really don't care at this point. The fact that they never end, it's like Rapunzel noodles, just gets me going. Dominion Road. You have competition. You have a you have very big shoes to fill when I come back. Oh my god. They're like spicy beef noodles. I hope I'm not butchering it. But these like the texture of these noodles reminds me of spaghetti. Can we just see that? Holy hecka. I'm gonna spoil my pizza from one what? Oh my god. I need to find the name of this restaurant. There are two pictures on the wall. I just took my chance and went with one of them. I think that that's just Shanghai, guys. No Instagramming geolocations and stuff like that. Well, there's some of that, but I think the beauty of it. Finding a little restaurant on the wall. Ask them, well, not even ask them, just see the um, dishes that other people are eating and just say, I want that. We'll get something spectacular, like right now. And I can't believe this is $5. I think our coffee in the morning was a little bit more expensive than the yeah, it was. You know, like in like Dominion Road, you go like Shaolin Kung Fu noodles, and it's just like beef, spicy beef noodles. It's like that, but it's not as spicy. 
and there's, there's a, a bit of a soy flavor to it as well. And honestly, I really couldn't tell you what it is. I just know that's really fucking good. The cuts of beef just melts in your mouth. What I love about this, the noodles are all actually different sizes, if you look carefully, because it's hand pulled. No machines doing that, it's all them. Um, yes, there's coriander in this. And if you don't like coriander, you just need to grow the fuck up. If you're an adult, you need to learn how to like it. And oh my god, I just noticed there's chili oil next to me. Because I'm so used to having chili oil in Auckland restaurants, I always put like a heaping amount. In Asia, it's no joke. You want to go kind of light in the beginning. Oh, that was too much. We're fine, we're fine. Just spread it out, we'll be okay. Shanghai don't play around. 